bending and soloing in A minor. Um, so we got the pentatonic scale. We're also working on where those bends are in the pentatonic scale. So we've got the bend at the third string, whole step bend. And to give us the pitch for that, we play the, uh, the note, the fifth string, second fret, right? And then we've also got another bend at the second string, eighth fret, whole step bend again. Our reference pitch for that is A, fifth uh, fret on the first string. So, so we've got two bends. Now you can also bend the first string, same fret, eighth fret, and the reference pitch for that is this D note here at the 10th fret. So, a few bends. And that's all in the context of this pentatonic scale, right? Now, there's another pentatonic scale, the fifth string, 12th fret. Now, if you're playing the, the, the fingering for this scale, you'd use that pinky, second finger, pinky. So it's very, very, very similar to this sixth string root scale, but just remember that it's not. You have this kind of fret up jump. Now, we talked about kind of Eric Claptoning. Eric Claptoning. Oh my gosh. Eric Claptoning this shape, right? Meaning that we only use the index and the ring finger, our dominant fingers in the scale. So that would require us to move our index finger over to the uh, 13th fret. So the reason we're talking about this is because we have a bend in there that we really like. Reference pitch, the 12th fret. Now what we can also do is while we're up there, uh, 15th fret, bending up the 15th fret, also getting the 15th fret at the first string. So, Now the reason we're talking about bending so much is because it's a really good way to just start off a solo. We talked about um, a couple different ways to solo on Ain't No Sunshine. One of them being just following the melody. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Another way to start off a solo with a bang would just be three, four. Just bending. Letting it ring out. One more with that, three, four. 